welcome back to my channel. I'm Raina Scully coming to you from Japan and today I'm going to take you to the cheapest chain restaurant in Japan called Saizeria. And when I say cheapest, I mean ridiculously affordable and yet still delicious and worth it in every way. I've been in love with Saizeria since I was a kid and their menu has evolved a lot over the years, but it's just gotten better. My favorite things to get are their black squid ink pasta and their grilled chicken on a hot plate, but honestly, everything they have to offer is pretty damn good. I am starving right now, so I'm planning on getting a mess load of food. I can't wait to show you and eat it all with you. But first, before we make our way to Saizeria, I'd like to thank Boksu for sponsoring today's video. Boksu is a monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight to your door. For your first Boksu, you'll receive a a Seasons of Japan box that lets you taste all the seasonal flavors that are popular in Japan and every month after that you will receive a themed box just like this one. This is their Kansai Autumn box that I am thoroughly in love with. Here's a little preview of some of the authentic snacks you can get in it. There's a solid variety of both sweet and savory snacks and this isn't even all of it. And look at how pretty these Japanese cookies are. Here's my personal favorite. This is their manju, which is a very classic Japanese confectionery that has a gently sweet flour dough that's normally filled with red bean paste. This one comes with Japanese sweet potato paste because that's what's in season right now. And these manju go incredibly well with green tea. Here's their fig candy that Boksu produces themselves. And look at this, you get this entire container of Satoshi lemon pie cookies, which are very delicious, by the way. Like I said before, this isn't even all of what's inside one box. I always make sure I give some to my old bachan, and she loves them. If you'd like to try Boksu out for yourself or gift it to a Japan-loving friend, click the link in my description below and use my coupon code RainaScully10 to get 10% off your subscription, which can save you up to $47. I'm so hungry that I've crossed over into cranky territory, so drive fast. No, I'm kidding! I'm scared! <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting you to do that. Holy shit. So it's about 4? 4.45? Is it really? Yeah. We're old. This is like an early, early bird, bird special. <laughs> no! There she is. So a little info on this restaurant chain. Saizeria is an Italian yoshoku famidesu and it's obviously known by everyone for their unbelievably cheap prices. Yoshoku means western influenced food and famidesu is short for family restaurant which are basically like diners. It's popular across the board but a lot of students like to come here and study and or hang out for hours. This is the drink bar that allows you to drink whatever and however much you want from this self-service station. They have a cafe machine that makes coffee, cappuccinos, lattes, and hot water for tea. Here's the soda and juice machine that actually encourages you to mix flavors and try them all. This is basically why students enjoy staying at family restaurants for hours and hours. All right, let's check out the menu together and decide what we're getting. Here are some of their new items on the first page. Since it's fall, they're featuring mushroom, lamb, and wine for a seasonal flair. Here are their salads. Fair warning, it says Caesar, but the dressing isn't Caesar at all. Still tasty though. You can get a regular size, which is like a side salad for 350 yen or upgrade to a large to share. This is their hearty soup area. They feature their limited seasonal soups at the top and here's their cream corn soup called compotage and some chicken soup, which is new. And at the bottom, they have all the different types of bread you can get. Here's the side dishes page. Look at this popcorn shrimp. It's only 300 yen. I almost always order this. It's just green peas and an egg. I don't know why I like it so much, but I do. This is their appetizer section. You can get spicy chicken wings and juicy lamb skewers for only 400 yen. And they have legit escargot, which is crazy popular. I really, really enjoy this too, but fair warning, it is very garlicky. Here's a giant spicy chicken leg on a sizzling plate. I haven't tried this one yet. I normally opt for the chicken wings so we can share. And this is new, it's called Eggs in Purgatory. We're definitely trying this tonight. Here's the pizza page. We usually order one and share it. It's rather small, but works well as an appetizer for us. You can always get a larger size for only an extra 100 yen. And this is their glorious pasta section. I think I've tried every pasta on here except for the carbonara and their seasonal specials. The black squid ink pasta is my go-to and my favorite, mainly because it's not something I can make at home. I'm definitely getting that today. I've been craving it. 
And this is their featured limited seasonal pasta, mushroom and pancetta spaghetti, again suggested with wine. These are their doria and gratin selections. It's basically a baked meat sauce and cheese casserole. Doria has rice as the base and gratin has penne pasta instead. And on the opposite page is their sizzling plate hambagu. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but hambagu are hamburger steaks or Salisbury steaks with demi-glace sauce. Look at how cheap they are. I just want the prices to sink in for you. This is a sit-down restaurant. And on the next page, we have my other favorite dish, the grilled chicken on a hot plate with veggie salsa. This chicken is surprisingly big and crispy and juicy. I'm not getting it this time, so here's a clip from my phone from the last time I got it. This is just 500 yen, which is around 450 USD. Lastly, here's a quick rundown of their dessert menu. We aren't getting any dessert today because we're gonna stuff our faces with lots of carbs. Now let me show you how to order because you actually have to write it down yourself on this order sheet. I don't know if you noticed, but there are these little letters and numbers on the menu that correspond with your order. You just write that down like so along with the quantity and that is it. I do find this process to be silly because the server has to come and confirm your order with you. So I feel like this is a waste of time and paper. What do you think? This is actually a new process that was implemented just two years ago. All you had to do was place your order with the server directly, which is basically what you're doing now, but with an added step. The food comes out rather quickly, which is also an excellent bonus of Saizeria. I feel like I always wait so much longer at Denny's. So like I mentioned before, I got their black squid ink pasta. We also got the DIY sausage sandwich. Here are the eggs in purgatory. We also got the pancetta pizza, which you do have to cut yourself. Mike got the sizzling Hamburg steak, but I forgot to take a video, so here's one from the last time we came. I really love the squid ink pasta. It's really difficult to describe the flavor, but it's not as fishy as you'd think, but you definitely have to like squid to enjoy it. The eggs in purgatory was excellent. The tomato sauce was really rich and went so well with the eggs, but it needs way more bread. We ended up dipping our pizza in the rest of this, which was actually kind of perfect. And here's me trying my best to construct the sausage sandwich, which I really, really hope stays on the permanent menu. I loved this. So this is our receipt and everything looks good until the very bottom area where we were charged accidentally for a rib steak, which we obviously didn't get. So the total is not 3,300, it's actually only 2,300. Wow, all of this food that we ate, by the way, we ate everything. I forgot to mention, you can buy their seasoning, condiments, and even a huge bag of their popcorn shrimp at the register. As always, everything was so delicious and so freaking cheap. I think I was most impressed by that do-it-yourself sausage sandwich thing. What's it called? Sarushicha no sandwichi. Sarushicha. What the? What's a sarushicha? I have no idea. <laughs> I bet... Sarusitja is what that sausage is, right? It was delicious. Um, the carrots and the radish, horseradish, went so well with it. It was so good. I'm in love with it. I'm going to get that every single time now. I think I'm going to opt for that instead of the pizza next time. I also really liked the eggs in purgatory. I like tomato sauce, so I really, really enjoyed that. But that is it for this video. Please let me know in the comments what you would like to try from Saizedia the most or what looked most appealing to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming out to dinner with us. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again to Boksu for sponsoring this video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Sonja matta ne! Oyasumi! I just remembered. So Saizedia had a really, really major overhaul last year of the interior and the exterior of the restaurant. But do you remember there used to be these really scary paintings inside where they were kind of renaissance Roman paintings? And one of them looked like this like scary ghost was grabbing one of the woman, yep. women. It was creepy fine art. Yeah, and I think I have a picture of it. All right, I hope I have a picture of it. I'll insert it right here. <laughs> I bet I have it. I'm pretty sure I saved it. Oh my God. This is so scary. No, May. No. <laughs>
<laughs> you like Foxy too? You can't eat it. <laughs> good girl. What a good girl. Okay, let me just take this video. No. Don't get your fur on my manju.